Iman from Australia, she says that her husband said something. So basically speaking, lots of the women do this. They keep on nagging their husbands. You're not a man, you can't divorce me, you do this. And the guy is, you know, building up pressure. He's not responding. And after six or seven hours of nagging and banging the doors and throwing things over, insulting him and cursing his parents and his loved ones, he says, okay, I divorce you. She breaks down and cry. After all these years, you divorce me? Damn if you do, damn if you don't. You've been nagging me for the past 10 hours to divorce you. Now when I divorce you, you cry? This is how women are made. And I'll wait for your hate mails, accusing me of being a male chauvinist pig. No problem. But unfortunately, this is how women react. You keep on pushing. You're saying, you want to divorce me, don't you? you this is what you want. You always wanted to divorce me. You never loved me before. At this end of the day, he says, yes. Ah, you've divorced me. How dare you? I didn't divorce her. I didn't intend to. So she sends him a message. So she's opening a can of worms. And then she's asking, this is not how it works. If he divorced you, he goes to the Islamic center and talks to the imam or to the Muslim court and talks to the judge or uh, uh, to someone who would give him a fatwa after listening from him and acquiring the proper knowledge from him, not from the woman ever, because she's not in a position to state whether the, the divorce took place or not. It's the man who asks.